Hey, it's me, Destin. This is the second channel, Smarter Every Day 2. Glad to have you. Hope you stick around and subscribe. This is what this channel is about. A lot of times when I make a Smarter Every Day video, I'm cutting it so tight because I want to be respectful of the viewer's time that I drop stuff that I love. And it, when I start dropping really good stuff, I know the edit's getting about right. But in this case, there's so much that set my brain on fire about how the Infinidec works that I, I just want to put it back on the internet. So that's what this channel is for. So we're going to do that. I was an active participant in the motion control algorithm in this case. And what you're going to see here is a mechanical engineer trying to figure out the algorithm while he's inside it. And it's really interesting to me. I mean, this is really fascinating. But full disclosure, Infinidec has already changed some things about the design since I filmed this about a month and a half ago. They've made it quieter, I'm told. And they've also changed the algorithm itself. So it's a little bit better now, they say. If you enjoy this, I hope you'd subscribe to this channel. The whole point here is Destin does whatever Destin's thinking about on Smarter Every Day too. So feel free to subscribe and let's go get on the Infinidec. So we're ready? Yeah. So I just, I just get in? Yeah, go ahead. So All right. let, me, let me help you get loaded in. <laughs> All right. So first let's do your feet. So this is your left foot. You want it with the LED pointing towards me. Okay. Like and, so? Yep, and go ahead and sure, make sure it's uh, super snug with the strap. You want to make sure that it doesn't jiggle a lot or else it will make your feet jiggle around in the virtual world. So. Okay. I don't want my feet jiggling. All right. Two. This is the CG. You're going to put that on. Make the tracker be like directly behind your back. Okay. And tighten it down. LED up? It uh, doesn't matter for that. That one's going to just... Sink, however. All right. Okay, so next you're going to need your controllers and your headset. So go ahead and put on your headset, and I will bring these controllers to you through the magic of VR. This feels like I'm actually getting in the Oasis here. <laughs> Oh wow, I can see the camera in yeah, the virtual so world. You can if you look towards me, you should see the two controllers. What the heck, man? <laughs> All right, you okay. You can tighten it with a knob on your back. Yeah. Got it. Do I need audio? Uh, not for this, it's all good. So here's the controller and the controller. Whoa! Okay, so what we're gonna have you do now, uh, George, gonna pull the Okay, line. okay, I'm trying to, this is just normal VR, so I can actually see the ring. Now that's yeah, something right. I didn't yeah. expect, so I can, yeah, it's yeah, there. Sorry. Yeah. All right, so now let's... I see my body, too. What's up with my body? So we're going to sync that with you. So if I can okay. have you stand with your legs straight down and your arms straight out to your sides in a T-pose. Okay, so you're about to sync my body up with, with me. Here we go. Three, two, one. Did it work? Let's see. Go ahead and move around. Oh, I can see my body. Whoa. All right. Okay, that's rad. That's really rad. Okay, gotcha. So... So right now, you're tracking the position of my hands and my feet. Dude, that is messed up. This, I like it. All right. Okay. Okay, so are you ready to start walking? I'm ready to start walking. Okay. We're so going to recommend you have your hands on the ring when you first try this, just so you get used to the virtual world and what that's like. Okay. So, okay. So I just start walking. Uh, wait. Uh, dude, yeah, go ahead uh, and stand yeah, center. Start and start, start okay. with that. And begin. So when you start... Yeah, I thought it would make sense for for it to put me in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now right, what it's trying to do is it's trying to keep the CG of my back in the center of the ring, right? Exactly. So I'm going to touch this, and as I walk, okay, it takes just a, okay, I'm there. Okay, I don't want to hit that tree, so I'm going to turn this way. Okay. So, I can't really tell if I'm walking 90 degrees or not. Okay, so there's inertia in the in the rollers. Okay, I thought there might be. So, if I move backwards, it's got to keep me there. If I move forwards, so it takes just a second to get used to. Okay, I see a hill here in the virtual world. Eventually, George, is the plan to actually elevate the deck in different axes? There is a way we'll be able to put hills in it in the future. Gotcha. So there's mushrooms. I like to get mushrooms in Zelda, so I'm going to go get these mushrooms real quick. Oh, 
Oh, I can also see the perimeter of the deck. That's yeah, that's the edge of the, the room skill set. Now that's interesting. When I look down, I can see the world. So, so there's this inertial buildup of the deck. And when I look down at my feet, I can see everything moving relative to there. C can you record my, my camera view from my face? Uh, no, we can't do both. But we can have him uh, shoot your feet with the, with the external camera if you want to see exactly how that looks. Okay, so right now, I'm looking down, mm -hmm. and as I walk over this mushroom, the mushroom is moving. But then it stops. So, that, so that's the that's the secret sauce. So you've got a, a system. It's a it's a, a dampening problem in the system, right? Yeah. Right. So so at the moment, a lot of what you're seeing is the byproduct of just a simple you know simple controller that doesn't do a lot of things smart. Our, our goal is to have a much smarter system in the long run, right? That can see if you're unstabilized, if you're falling over. We want to stop that. And we so want it to that so right now, there's no inertial measurement unit in my pack that I'm wearing, right? There is maybe right here. Mm -hmm. And so you have a much smoother fidelity there. Is there inertial measurement here, or are you tracking it externally via optics? That is, a, I think there's an eye in there for the optics. There it's is. A very, very noisy. So they're using the, the optic value more with the vibe trackers. Gotcha. But it, it, as long as I'm not changing angular position, it should be able to track. It, it should reach a steady state condition. Any control system will do that, right? Yeah. So I should be able to pick a direction. There's a path. I'm gonna to go to that path, and I'm gonna I'm gonna to walk towards it. And as long as I hit steady state, it should be uniform. Now I intentionally walked in a di diagonal direction because I wanted to see if I could feel the pivot under my feet, and it was pretty good. You're right about that. Okay, so I'm gonna get on the path. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So you have a certain dampening coefficient that's calibrated for each human because their gait is different, is that correct? At the moment it is a very simple model that we're using that I think has an approximate human weight that's used to see the inertial uh, senses of the human, yeah. Gotcha, so, so that's something that could be tailored for each anthropomorphic model that sits inside here, correct? Absolutely. Okay, cool, got it. Okay, I'm gonna walk straight that way. Am I about to hang myself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Whoop. <laughs> I built up too much inertia in the rollers. <laughs> All right, got it. I see. I see what. Like, if you understand control systems, you know exactly what's going on, and you can also figure out how to give it challenges. You can also figure out how to how to make it how to help it, basically. Yeah. And right? our goal is to make it so that. It can do everything that you can think it would do, and it would do it without thinking, you know. Gotcha, it but, it, but it's a it's a really good proof of concept, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so. So, what's different about your method as opposed to other systems that have uh, basically kinetic friction underneath is that my feet have static friction with the deck. That's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's that's intentional. So, so the refinements that you're going to work on now are ways to reduce the the roller inertia in the system, specifically this direction. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. G gotcha. That's that's really smart. Yeah. And, uh, Another difference is uh, with the uh, slide uh, mills, uh, you're basically pretending to walk. With this, with the Infinitec, you actually are walking. Yeah, so you can, yes, I, I, t I totally get that. But like, if I were to do, if, if I, okay, I'm gonna hula here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the system figure out what's going on. Yeah, I got it. It's, it's trying to, so you could create a calibration tool mm -hmm. that would be like a hula hoop dummy that would get in here and, and move at a certain location, and then you could measure the output the output 
signals because you have input position and output position and those have to be balanced. Okay, anyway, my brain is going crazy here. Not just, not this, just the like, hey, you're, you're an animal on a, in a virtual world level, but also the engineering level. I'm gonna go up this hill right here. All right, oh, there's a mountain. Okay, so what Griffin was saying earlier is that this ring that I'm seeing here in the virtual world is important because it gives me, the, the human, uh, some type of anchor back to the physical world. So what we're gonna try now is we're gonna turn off the ring and I'm gonna see what that does to my vestibular ocular reflex. Or I don't know if I don't even know if that's the part of my my brain that it's working with. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Let's All see what right, happens. So turning the ring off now. The ring is gone. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. But I can still see the perimeter on the bottom where the deck is. Yeah. So that might still be helping you a little bit. Okay. Gotcha. So let me try. It matters. <laughs> it totally matters. <laughs> I'm stuck on a hill. I can't yeah, get over there. Go ahead and turn around. I think you're at the edge of the map. So okay, cool. Up. I dropped my hand. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. No hand. worries. I got my hand back. Probably more disorienting for you than us, so. Hold on. Let me put my hand back on. All right. There's one hand. All right. So here we go. I'm going to walk slowly. Okay, the ring totally matters. <laughs> How long did it take you to figure that out? You no, know, not not too long. That's really? Right. Okay, yeah. can I have the ring back? Yeah. Okay. I want my training wheels. There you go. Oh god, I feel so good now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it totally matters. It's like a. Uh... The ring matters. Like when you're. It's like when you do an integral and you get the plus C at the end. Yeah. That's what this is. This is the boundary condition. That's exactly what that is. I need to look at the ring, don't I? All right. Oh, wait. I hit, am I hitting the ceiling? That's ceiling right oh, okay. I thought it was a leaf. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> is that I was like, that is a very pointy tree, man. <laughs> if I had the haptics glove on, I don't, I don't know what would be going on right now. All right, this is awesome. Thank you very much for letting right. me try this. That's my favorite place to be. Confused, but trying to learn. I don't know. I love it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this channel. This is Smarter Every Day 2. This is my fun place where I get to do crazy stuff like this. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and hit the bell. I I mean, who knows what I'm going to upload here. I'm just going to, fair warning, I, I upload whatever. A couple things about Infinidec. They said they've already changed the mechanical design a bit to be quieter. They say they've already addressed a lot of these motion control issues. So full disclosure, this is not the state of the art right now. They're already improving it. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoy this channel. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.